Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to another episode of Man Cave Meals. Today we're going to fire up the Kamado Joe and we're going to cook some Dino Bones beef ribs that I picked up from Porter Road here recently. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do to get these ribs cooking is I'm going to set up a fire in the firebox of my Kamado Joe Classic 3. I'm going to use the slow roller today, but if you don't have the slow roller, just use a heat deflector in the low position and I'm going to set up the slow roller on the divide and conquer flexible cooking rack and I'm going to put both halves of the heat deflector in the middle position here. And we're going to set up today to cook at about 250, so I'm going to set the top vent about halfway between the first and the second mark. And I'm going to use the I command today to run the grill at a temperature of about 250 degrees. Now I want to introduce you to the star of today's show. I have a big rack of dino bones from Porter Road Butcher over in Nashville, Tennessee. I ordered these a couple of weeks ago because I've never cooked big beef plate ribs like this before. This is a six bone rack that weighs just at nine pounds and I'm actually not gonna cook all this. We're gonna break this down into individual bones and we're gonna cook three of them. So I've broken these guys down into three individual bones. I want you just to have a look at that. That looks absolutely beautiful and what I'm gonna do today is we're gonna season these with the Atlanta Grill Company Man Cave Meals AP Mojo and I'm just going to put a nice liberal coat of this rub on all sides of these ribs. And now that I have a good coat on there I'm going to let these sit here for about 10 minutes and I'm going to come back and hit them with just a little bit more of that rub then. Now that our grill's up to temp we're going to set these bad boys right on here we're going to put all three of them on there and we're going to go bone side down. We're going to set them right in the center. And these guys are going to get eight to ten hours here in the smoke. I have put cherry wood smoke in there. I think you saw that as we were starting up. I took two of the large chunks of Kamado Joe cherry wood and I broke it into about each one into about four smaller pieces. So we're going to let these guys go. And we're going to be back in about four hours or so to have a look. Okay guys, I know I said we were going to come back at about the four hour mark and have a look at these, but right now we are at the two and a half hour mark and I'm experiencing an anomaly here with these ribs. I believe these guys are just about ready. They are probing very tender and uh, this is just going to be one of those experiences where we cook fast. I believe these would normally take about eight hours, and today they're going to fin this particular rack of ribs is going to finish up well early of that. I'm going to give these 10 or 15 more minutes, and then we're going to come back and have a look. Okay, guys, I've taken this off, and I'm going to cut one of these right off the bone here so we can have a closer look at the inside of this meat. I want you to take a look. Man, that is gorgeous. Look at how juicy that is. I'm going to take a little piece off of here. We're going to have a quick taste test. I'm going to take just a little bit of that. Hmm. Oh man, that is beautiful. Okay, these beef ribs are amazing. I've done a little research and figured out why these cooked a little faster than they normally would. I went back to Porter Road's website and I, I talked to one of their people because they have actually taken the dino bones off of their menu at the moment and I was asking about that and they told me that they temporarily have put these on hold because they have a little bit higher than normal fat content and that would definitely explain why these cooked in two and a half hours to three hours instead of the normal eight that I would expect but they're gonna have those back in stock shortly so guys you're gonna have to give these a try 
If you're not already following me on Facebook, give us a follow there on facebook.com slash mancavemeals because we've got a lot of additional content that goes out on that site. And until next time, this is John Setzler with Man Cave Meals. <laughs>